It's been a while since we've been able to make content really um, it's Been busy at home. We've had a new baby and time leading up to that was slow and then afterwards obviously slow, but this is Tuesday afternoon after opening weekend of grouse hunting and we have time off and I'm up north of the cabin and I want to get out and do a little bit of hunting in the next few days So I think I'm gonna try and get out for like an hour today and then we're gonna do two longer hunts during the day uh wednesday and thursday we have some pretty nice weather like cold mornings cold uh afternoons i think the high is like 60. that'll be really really nice for walking all day so we've done a ton of scouting all summer long like uh e-scouting i'll say all of it was online on onyx and trying to find good spots that i think will produce so i'm excited to try some of those tomorrow today we're just going to a random spot to get Mac out, get him used to the woods again, and see if he can get on some scent trails. So we'll see how that goes, and I'm very excited for this weekend. I hope I uh, hope I can shoot a limit. I've never shot a limit before, but I'm optimistic. I'm in a very birdie area, and just trying to, you good? Just trying to get everything uh, dialed in, so we'll see how that goes. Running some new gear this year. I got this Orvis pro light really excited about that because i've just been using a trap shooting vest so happy to see how this runs and i'm also excited about this new gun from last year i only got to take it out once because i got it late last year but i'm very excited to continue to use that this year it's uh incredibly lightweight super nice i've always wanted to hunt with an over under Mac. And we're off. We're starting. That's fantastic. You're such a doofus. <laughs> what on earth was that? Well, I'd be a hypocrite if I asked you to bust through all the brush and I stand out in the open, so here I am, busting through it with you. You gotta want it. Take a break, move to a new spot. Good boy. Good boy. All right, right off the bat, this second spot feels a lot more birdie to me. It's just a lot more thick, dense, smaller cover, a lot less big trees. So we'll see if Matt can catch a scent here. He's getting birdie. What do you smell? He's got something. Wow. That's where they're bedding down. I, I would bet money that that buck that's scraping is coming in here and feeling real safe in the middle of the night. I think we have about Mile, mile and a quarter, walk out of here. That's probably enough for today. Looking forward for tomorrow. I love morning hunts, more than afternoon hunts. Being out in the morning, out in the woods, there's not much better. Wow. That buck is busy. He's tearing it up in here. All right, now this is what I'm talking about. 
This is awesome. Mac, I'm gonna be shocked if you don't smell anything in here. Where's the bird? Go get the bird. Go. Go get a bird. I really think something's gotta be in here. I was on him, but I shot through a lot of trees. A lot of trees. And he is very excited now. I knew this spot looked birdie. See, I, I don't think I hit him. And I don't think we're gonna find anything. However, that was exciting. Oh man, that was cool. First bird of the year, miss, but that's to be expected. That is awfully exciting. I have missed this. I called it coming around that corner down there. I'm like, this looks really birdie. So much young popple here. Boy, I love how fast this fired two times in a row. I would have never gotten two shots off with my old pump action. Not a chance. All right, nothing from the first afternoon here. Saw that definitely bigger one. Um, part way down that trail, I did not have a clean shot, so couldn't get to it. Um, heading back to the cabin now, but we're gonna be out in the morning. It'll be a really nice morning walk. I'll get to uh, debut my new hiking boots. I got some crispies. Very excited about them. They are spendy, but it's the buy once, cry once kind of mentality, so. We'll see how that goes. Um, yeah, I really hope uh, up farther north tomorrow, I can get a few more, uh, I really hope I can get a few more birds up there. So we'll see. Ready, buddy? Should we go see mom? We'll see you in the morning. the new boots on for the longer walk today I am super super excited about these these are the crispy 10 inch guides non insulated I tend to get pretty sweaty in the feet and these things breathe so well so far I, I haven't walked 10 miles in them yet but I did like a three or four mile walk in 80 degree heat my feet weren't that sweaty so they're they're the real deal Mac. Hey, Mac. Go in there. Go in there. You gotta get through the ferns, buddy. Come here. Go in. Go. I'm not too excited about how breezy it's gonna be today. We're gonna have to step right on top of him. So I'm really hoping that his nose starts working.
first one, my gun was on safety. Go get it. Mac, down. Here. Dead bird. Dead bird. Good boy. Bring here. Mac, bring here. Gentle, gentle. Good boy. What'd you get? Huh? Get a sniff? Let's go get some more. Go get them. There was two there. Mac, there was two. Let's go. I wonder if I can get over to that island because that is definitely where it went. Good job, buddy. Good job. That's why we're out here. I didn't, I never looked at the second one. I don't even know if it went down. I just know this is the direction it went. Came straight across here. I don't expect to find this one, to be honest. I think it kept flying. It's pretty open in here. I don't think it would have dropped down. Maybe way up there. I cannot believe that my gun was on safety. If, in fact, that one didn't land in the tree, I, don't, I would not have gotten that. So I'm very happy that that thing landed in the tree. He gave me a wide open shot. Hold up. That's the first grouse I got with this gun. That's pretty special. I don't know if you noticed from the camera view, that was a pretty small guy. Probably a young of the year. Don't love shooting them, but I'll take them. Better than nothing. Rather get a an older guy. I love red phase. This was a gray phase gross. All right, in an attempt to get Mac to actually walk off the trail, I am also walking off the trail. We're about 50 feet in from the trail, just kind of walking parallel to it. And there's a lot of nice young trees in here, but it's still kind of open. So that's why I kind of wanted to walk in here a bit. Oh yeah. Hey, bust it up. Go, go. Get up in there. Was beating brush there for a little bit, but to no avail. Nothing came out of that. I think we're gonna get back to the car and hit a new spot. I'm, it's really hard to see not being up here and only looking at satellite imagery. I wanna get to a spot with a little bit more Aspen coverage and not as mature. So we'll see what we can do there. There was a bird. What kind of bird? I saw white. Was that a woodcock? All right, back at the car. Here's the boy. Drop. Leave it. Leave it. Here's the boy with his find. Mac. Good boy. It's a really, really pretty band. Gray face, male. This fan's going all the way across, striped on the top, so it's male. I unfortunately think that I obliterated this bird. I don't know how much meat there's going to be. We shall see. But one down, four more to go if we find them. All right, we're at spot number two. A little bit more poply, but it's still a pr pretty uh, mature woods out here. There's a couple of clear cuts back in here I want to go check out, but I'd like to get on some spots that are a little bit more young aspen like. I, you can't really tell too well from satellite imagery, so you kind of got to drive the areas and find out. So maybe we'll do that after this for tomorrow. Mac. Hunt him up. He's on something. He's birdie. He's very birdie right now. 
I just heard something back there. I haven't seen you get birdie like that in a minute. You definitely smelled one there, didn't you? I thought I heard back here something take off when he ran up in here. I'm not sure. He keyed on that pretty hard. I think he caught a whiff of it. All right, buddy. Back to the trail. I definitely believe he just smelled one. I don't think he would have acted like that if he didn't. His nose is hammering the ground right now. The deer seemed to like it, that's for sure. There's a deer right there. Look at that. Damn straight the deer like it. <laughs> I just spooked one up right here. That was a doe, small doe. Ooh -ee. They do like it in here. That's a young buck though, that's pretty low to the ground. All right, third spot we're giving a try. This is awesome. Really thick, popple, berries on trees, clover on the ground. We actually have some conifers in here. We have some pines, so honestly, this might be the best spot I've found so far. Habitat-wise, we'll see if it produces birds, but I'm excited about it. Gonna try and do a lot of stop walking on this trail just because it's so thick. Look at how much spruce we got in with this popple. Gotta have something here. All right, Max getting a little birdie. And I mean, look, we have all this popple around us surrounded by spruce. Something tells me there's birds in here, but something tells me with 15 mile an hour winds, we're not gonna spook anything up today. I really, would love to get the jump on them before the wind picks up tomorrow. Yeah, there we go. Mac! Good boy, dead bird. Bring it here. That looked like a red face. Bring it here. Come on, good boy, what'd you get? What'd you find? You bring here? Give, give, give. Another pretty small one. That's gotta be young of the year. Hey, gentle. This one is also a little small. Oh, look at that, it's got a tick in it. See that little one right there behind the eye? Interesting, they can get ticks on them too. Another young guy. Guy or gal? Oh, I messed up that fan pretty good, or you did when you got to it. That's a gal. That fan's broken right there. So that must be a female. Oh my goodness, Mac. That was you. You were tearing it apart on the ground. Okay. I'm gonna zap you next time. That's definitely a red face. Look at the underside. Gorgeous. Well, you've already done half the cleaning job for me. Thank you. Thanks, buddy. Sweet, two birds on the day. Awesome, both of them were one shot. Yesterday I shot twice at the one bird. I shot twice today and I already got two. It's, it's making me feel a little bit better about myself. I really like this gun. That was so fast to swing up. I felt like I had plenty of time to aim. Found a really nice young thicket and we're trying to walk through it, see if we spook anything up out of here. This is kind of what my goal was, was hunting in these or on the edge of these all day. Preferably bordering some type of 
pine or conifer and we have some pines over here on this side so I don't know I feel like this is good habitat but you know not all good habitat has a bird in it that just that is what it is so dang thick in here though no doubt easier for you buddy you just don't know where you're going Well, uh, we hit a couple more trails. Mac is just dead tired. Um, I'm pretty tired as well. We probably walked like eight or 10 miles today. It's a little confusing to me because where I usually hunt on the east side of the state, all of the clear cuts, all of the aspen and popple areas, they're all immature compared to this. Like through these woods that I walked today, a lot of like mature deciduous trees and some pine trees but you know a lot of deciduous trees a lot of maples a lot of oaks and then you have some popple in there and these areas on onyx that are list listed as you know timber cuts i've expected that to be like clear cuts so it would be brand new popple growing through but it's not they selectively leave a lot of the bigger trees so um learning there through the app just troubleshooting that and we'll figure that out but tomorrow i think we're gonna go a little bit farther east of where i was today um so uh hopefully we see some more tomorrow i'm, I'm looking forward to it we're both really tired we're gonna be sore for sure so um catch back up in the morning <laughs>